Geisteswissenschaften, German pronunciation, Asts Wissenschaften, Sciences of Mind, is a set of human sciences such as philosophy, history, philology, musicology, linguistics, theater studies, literary studies, media studies, and sometimes even theology and jurisprudence, that are traditional in German universities. Most of its subject matter would come under the much larger humanities faculty in the typical English-speaking university. Topic. History The concept of Geist dates back to 18th and 19th century German idealism, in particular to Herder's and Hegel's concept of a Volksgeist, the alleged common spirit or rather, mind, of a people. To understand the term Geisteswissenschaften, one should bear in mind that the Continental Faculty of Philosophy inherited the medieval Faculty of Arts. Besides philosophy itself it encompassed the natural sciences with mathematics as well as the philological and historical disciplines and later on psychology and the social sciences. The term Geisteswissenschaften first was used as translation of John Stuart Mill's term moral sciences. The historian, philosopher and sociologist Wilhelm Dilthey popularized the term, arguing that psychology and the emerging field of sociology, like the philological and historical disciplines, should be considered as Geisteswissenschaft rather than as Naturwissenschaft natural science, and that their methodology should reflect this classification. His arguments were very influential in the theories of the prominent German sociologist Max Weber, though Weber preferred the term Kulturwissenschaft, which has been promoted by his neo-Kantian colleagues Wilhelm Windelband and Heinrich Rickert. Topic. Current use Since the times of Dilthey it became common to speak of the Naturwissenschaften on the one hand and the Geisteswissenschaften on the other, not particularly considering the status of mathematics and of philosophy itself. After the separation of the natural sciences and mathematics into a particular faculty in some universities not until the 1950s, the Geisteswissenschaften were left alone in the philosophical faculty and even philosophy often was subsumed under the term Geisteswissenschaften. Meanwhile, many of the German universities have split up these faculties in smaller departments, so that the old common interests and the old borders are less visible. The term is now used irregularly. In administrative contexts it is used broadly to discuss how to organize the academic institutions and describe the culture of academic discussions, so that the faculties of theology and law are added to the Geisteswissenschaften. In some contexts of science policy the Geisteswissenschaften are described as non-empirical sciences, drawing them near philosophy and excluding the social sciences from their area. In the context of methodology on the contrary it has been emphasized, that Geisteswissenschaften such as history and the philological disciplines, relating on empirical data, documents, books and utterances, along with psychology and the social sciences, have a common empirical character, which is essentially based on comprehensive comprehension or understanding of expressions of meaning. Other authors, like Rudolf Steiner, use the term Geisteswissenschaft in a historically quite distinct sense to refer to a proposed science of spirit. Topic. Example usage From Kulturgeschichte Frankreichs, Suckenich Froelich, p. 633. Man hat Vorgeworfen, das er, dessen Hauptziel die Einfering Naturwissenschaftlicher Methoden in die Geisteswissenschaften war, selbnicht induktiv, sondern deductive Vorgang. Translation some reproach Tain in that he himself, whose goal was the introduction of the methods of natural science into the Geisteswissenschaften, proceeded from methods which were not inductive but rather deductive. 